Amanda and Tom, good morning. And first, I want to let you know that the city tells me they could remain open for the next two days, depending on how the weather plays out. And I actually want to show you just how cold it is. I have a temperature gun right here, and where I am standing, it's 16 degrees. It actually went down two degrees from the last time we checked in with you at five o'clock. So imagine having to sleep on the ground. Well, that's what a lot of folks experiencing homelessness do every single night. Yes, some of them may have a tent, others may have a sleeping back, but some simply just have a blanket, and that's why the city's Homeland Security and Emergency Management activated its cold weather shelters. This is the third time overall this fall season they've had to do so. The city says they work with the ARCH, the Parks and Rec Department, as well as churches to shelter the homeless, both individuals and families. Now, to give you some perspective, take a look at these numbers from Austin Public Health. The first time the city activated its cold shelters on Veterans Day, they were able to help just under 260 people. The next day on November 12th, 256. Then last week, the city provided refuge for 214 people. That's why city officials say it's important to get the word out. It's critical that, that both our efforts to let people know and as well as um, the efforts of, of the other agencies that, that touch uh, folks that are experiencing homelessness, that there are options for them on nights when it's especially cold. With over 2,200 people experiencing homelessness across the city, the numbers from Austin Public Health have just scratched the surface, and the city is expected to conduct its yearly point in time survey next month. So, Amanda, by then we will be able to, to see just how much of an impact the efforts by the city to decriminalize homelessness has had on the homeless population. Back to you.